Credit experts say some home buyers are hurting their credit and finances, overpaying for houses in this red hot real estate market. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan sat down with a credit expert and learned little known insights on how your credit score really works. Heather. Good evening. Yeah, Redfin reports that 54% of homes that sold in May sold above the listed price. Many home buyers are not only taking on more debt to buy homes, but also to fix them up after they've bought them. We're in what we could term easily uh, an insane real estate. And housing market. That insane market is leading more younger first time home buyers to overpay for a house or buy fixer uppers and then need more money to make repairs. So, in most cases, people are putting themselves in a very precarious credit situation, extending themselves beyond probably their current capacity. Carlos Medina with credit monitoring company ScoreSense and who worked 11 years for Experian says to be better prepared to buy a home, you need to start improving your credit reports a full 12 months before applying and pay down your debt, not just to a goal of 30% of available credit, but at least 30 days before you apply for a mortgage. He says that's because your credit score is usually updated monthly. I haven't been in a credit reporting agency as well. Uh, I can tell you that that's a safe bet that your scores and reports will be updated at least by the middle of each month. He says only apply for mortgages within a 14 day period and don't open new credit cards or car loans before closing on a house. And it might even have you lose your home in terms of the ability to get that mortgage because they'll check your score again right before you close. And if you're deciding whether to add any extra money to your down payment or to pay down debt, he says pay down debt, it'll lower the cost of your mortgage. Fannie Mae points out some loans for first time home buyers require only a 3% down payment. Including Fannie Mae's Home Ready program, it only requires 3% down, right? And it supports credit scores that are as low as 620 and includes other flexibilities that many of these prospective home buyers don't realize are available to them. And Fannie Mae just launched a new tool. It's called Your Own Story. It's to help dispel the myths of home buying and help first time home buyers get started. I've got a link to it on my Facebook page. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26.